What is up, people? We are back with another yes, black ass podcast for the week. If you're not following the yes, Patreon, sir. go ahead and follow that Patreon, patreon.com backslash Black Plague Podcast. I don't mess it up. I'm too good at it. I am <laughs> Smoke Joe Star, aka Smoke Man Joe, aka Young Potawatomi Massacre, and we are back with another episode for y'all this week, man. <laughs> and uh, unfortunately, our chair two is having microphone issues. But like he's with us in spirit, man. Like we we have a light skin replacement available, so he's gonna really like carry on in John's stead. John's with us in spirit, though. You know, I'm gonna pour up some liquor for him. Right. But I am Chair Three. I am uh, DJ Cobra uh, at Super Cobra on uh, social media sites at S U P E R C O B R U H, aka your puppy's favorite DJ. Absolutely. My dogs and like we're him. just gonna move. I fuck with his dogs. <laughs> I'm gonna vote for him, and we are. Jo- I vote. <laughs> we are joined by a special guest, man, content creator, fighting game aficionado, tattoo artist, father, man, multi-hyphenate, music artist. Like they're fucking only like it, it does everything. Like man, literally you have does experience this content everything. somewhere at some point. Rainy Ovale, Rainy, what's good, brothers? Yes, sir. What's up, y'all? Thank you, thank you so much for having me. Shout out to, uh, shout out to John being here in spirit. But uh, you know, I had to do my yellow bone evil deeds on the. <laughs> I had to do them somewhere, you know. And uh, unfortunately, they came, came at the expense of the presence of John. But don't worry, I'm I'm here to yell. Somebody come quick in his stead. So. <laughs> <laughs> so. So don't worry. <laughs> but um <laughs> in the chat it's Steph, it's Steph, it's Steph Curry. And Steph Curry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But um so yeah, it's, it's great to be here. Thank you guys for that intro. Um and uh my last name is a doozy, but you almost got it. It's pronounced Ovalle. Ovalle. But, uh, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. But I mean, but it's all right though, you know. I, I think I think most people aren't familiar with that i don't even know where the fuck that shit is from but we out here we chilling shout out yes, to sir. y'all for having me on here thank you guys so much i'm out here up, i'm sipping on this on this questionable i'm sipping on this on this incons on this inconspicuous water over here this <laughs> sparkling right. water this this may or may water. not this mysterious yeah <laughs> special yeah. water bro yeah yeah you know so we're gonna see how i feel <laughs> in like 30, 30 minutes it's like, it's, <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah yeah it's h2o plus yeah. H2O yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's with the yeah. nature infusion. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, yeah. This shit is wow. So we'll see what happens. But it tastes good though. But yeah, um, thank you guys for having me. Uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for the intro. And uh, by the way, two things. Uh, one, you guys are the only podcast that I listen to with that has background music. Hey. I fucking. Yes, sir. I fucking hate podcasts with background music. That shit is so distracting. <laughs> But like, because you guys like, because you guys like play fighting games, and you guys almost exclusively use like fighting game OSTs, right? Like, or just like video game it's music video in games. general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, like, I feel like when when you know when the when the podcast got like elevator music and shit, that's where you lost me, man. Like, I'm <laughs> I'm not involved, bro. You know what I'm saying? But you guys like, you guys are you know you guys play fucking video games, you talk about video games, you play fighting games, and like. It, it matches is what I'm saying. So it's cool. That's the one thing. So yeah, you guys are like the only exception. Also, my oldest son, Godric, is playing a lot of Smash Brothers. And Schmoke, I just want you to take a wild guess as to who he mains. Gotta be playing Sonic, brother. Yeah. Gotta yeah. be playing my Sonic. Oldest son. <laughs> yeah. My oldest son, Godric, is a Sonic main. So... Yeah, and just you know, cause the world needed more of you, motherfuckers, out here. <laughs> Abs- absolutely, you gotta let you gotta let niggas know, man. Look, it's you know, live fast, eat ass. Shout out Godric <laughs> for, for playing for playing the goat god legend himself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I, no, it's great. It's great to be here, man. Thank you, guys. Yeah, man, I'm I'm glad to have you, bro. Like it's like we you and me have been going like talking back and forth on Twitter 
for years at this point. So like, it was really only a matter oh, yeah. of time. But um, yeah, yeah, it was bound to happen. Yeah, yeah, like the video, the video game music. That was a decision that was early on because I was just like, there aren't enough podcasts with music. There definitely aren't enough with video game OSTs, and the autism mm. will not let me not put that shit in the background. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so I, I felt like, to. yeah, I felt like that has something to do. With it. Yeah, <laughs> right. yeah. But um, yeah, man, we we have we have a couple of topics for y'all today, couple, man. Couple, couple old topics. Um, yes, yeah, sir. Man. We haven't we haven't really done a current events podcast in a minute. It's but been a while. It's it's about time, and we're gonna get started with the Supreme Court now deciding that if you are a man who likes mm-hmm. men, or if you are a woman who likes women, or if you are in between, and you like in between. Businesses are now allowed to discriminate against you for the free, uncontested. Yeah. Which, um, if you're not heteronormative, they could be like, you know what, get the fuck out of my store right now. Right. And like, yeah. And I. Yeah. You go. You go ahead, man. No, nah, I mean, I think I think that shit is wild because, like, like you like okay, you know, whenever when you would walk into a store and like. You would see like a sign that said, "Oh, we we ha- we reserve the right to refuse service to anybody." Mm-hmm. Like, right? right? Mm-hmm. My my whole thing is like, w- wasn't this always the case? Like, like <laughs> not I'm not I'm not uh, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm not I'm not agreeing with it, but I'm saying right. like the like like technically some like they could have been doing this the whole like businesses could have and probably have been doing this the whole time and just bullshitting and been like i don't like the cut of his jib get right. the fuck out of my right. <laughs> you know what i mean the like a little ticky tacky bullshit yeah 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 you know i think i, don't I like think it's haircut. get out yeah i i think it's like where it becomes like insidious and like super like actually like actually fucked up and like you know like bordering on fucking g- genocidal like th- these are like th- it's when you put that label on it that it becomes like, oh, this is like actual fascism. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like, oh, this is like for real genocide. Like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, it's starting here. Yeah, this is you know, this is, this is just the starting line. And honestly, like the Ro- Roe v. Wade last year, like, should have been the first clue because I was like, it's okay, so they're policing women's bodies already, mm-hmm. and you've basically just signed that shit into law. So like that's yeah. That I I knew we where we were headed when that started because y'all tried to after that they were trying to come after Loving v Virginia and I'm like well you know Clarence Thomas ain't gonna let that happen nah, because he's, he's married happen. to a nah. fucking white woman so like that ain't gonna yeah. pass. So what's the next logical step? LGBT like you get the right to marry eight years ago and now they're basically already trying to roll y'all right back to where you were pre 2015. Where this, where this entire world. shit started. And I'm just like, like you said, technically businesses, especially because we live in the we live in the South, we live in the Bible Belt. So I know for a fact that there are some businesses down here that have been doing that shit forever. And, you know, they they are the kind of hemorrhaging money because a lot of people don't support it. But to say that, yeah. hey, it's okay to target this specific group is yeah. is definitely like demonic activity because before you could do it under the guise of you know we have our reasons now that can be one of the reasons and that's a problem because that opens the door for everything the fuck else to be a reason yeah. and i just i i just want to know where where it stops how we stop it like because voting voting don't do shit we've all we're all adults let's fucking be real we're all adults we're all other adults, whether that be black or LGBTQ, yeah. like we we know that these niggas on either side are not going to further our interest in any meaningful fucking way. So I'm just curious as to how how we put some kind of fucking foot down on this shit. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, not not to get too Orwellian on this motherfucker, but I think like the grim the grim reality of the matter is like. There's no, there's really only one, there's really like, like you can't, you can't remain civil in the face of eradication. You know what I'm saying? Like they not, like your, your oppressor's not playing fair. Right. Like yeah. why should, why should you, you know what I mean? And I think like, 
to be honest, the only real tangible solution is going is is going to war, bro. Like full blown, <laughs> full blown, <laughs> full blown race war, full blown gay war. You know I mean, what I'm saying? That's, like that's I, facts, man. Yeah, and like and, and like listen, like I like, like you know, I I think I think this shit was a long time coming because like even from the you know from the inception of the fucking bro like i went I, I was just at dinner with my mom we was talking about this mm-hmm. america and and i was watching uh i'm not your negro um the james baldwin james shit baldwin. Yeah, yeah yeah and like and you know one of one of the themes that stuck out to me that he talked about was like that like america doesn't know what to do with its black population because like you know they were brought over here to do a job and they weren't seen as human and now you know now all all of everything 2023 us is just a byproduct of like the fucking transatlantic slave trade and now the country that like didn't see black people as human and only saw them as a means of labor now has to figure out what to do with a population of people that they gave rights to that they had no intention of giving rights to mm-hmm. and i think the same the same is happening with like uh immigrants as well uh with like these caravans of immigrants that are like showing up and like people seeking asylum and stuff like that and like the same thing is happening with uh with uh with its gay population right like here are these people you imported for a reason suddenly these people you know they 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 become self-aware of their autonomy they become self-aware of their human rights you give them those those rights now you don't know what to do with them because you never wanted them here as people like you wanted immigrants here to do all your hard labor you wanted like i mean i guess i guess there was never or no gay people were fine as long as they weren't loud about it right and gay people were, you know what i mean <laughs> and like you know what i'm saying and like yeah. but now now that people are like living their truths and stuff you don't know what to do with them black people you 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 shipped over here did a bunch of unspeakable shit to them and like made them build your fucking country now you don't know what to do with them and i think like a lot of this shit is in an effort to kind of roll all that shit back and like make make at at the very least make florida a straight white utopia <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? like, it's... <laughs> so <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know because <laughs> i mean florida being the white utopia is nasty as yeah, fuck. It's, it's fucking saying it. nasty work man hey <laughs> listen sure. listen it is what it is. Yeah, <laughs> it is they can go is. down there all they need to, man. Right. I know where I'm not going. I was like, yeah. nigga, it's it's too many beaches in in the in America for me to give a fuck about Florida for real. <laughs> but, yeah, it's... but I, yeah, you're right, man. Like it's it's just a lot of shit that's really just been bubbling under the surface, and I make yeah. the joke a lot. Like anytime we do something that involves like a demographic of people, I'm like. Niggas in America just don't assassinate world leaders like they used to. Like we, we really, we, I mean, <laughs> we'd have killed all the wrong ones, <laughs> and now, I, I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the the person that was about to do the latest one missed, right? Yeah, really needed that one out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we really, we really needed him out the paint. We, we really <laughs> needed him to step up on that one, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like I had to spliff yeah. that nigga one time, just once. That's all you. Yeah, need. I mean, people. Yeah, I mean, you know, people get on France for being dirty and and smelly and shit, and it's like, why you think that shit always look like that? Because a fucking politician in France sneezes the wrong way, motherfuckers is you it's know, right. motherfuckers is ready to tear <laughs> shit up over there. Yeah, they ready to go to war, bro. So like, I don't know. I mean, but also like, I think a lot of the a lot of the like, I hate this fucking bullshit that I see on Twitter all the time. That it's like, oh, like, oh. You, you know, America, take notes. No. Ooh, no. Fucking oh, oh yeah, okay. well, hey, we yeah, our uh yeah, our, our cops kill us. Right. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> you can peacefully our... protest and still get snuffed out. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if you knew this, but y'all don't y'all's cops don't have fucking ordinances on their hip. You know what I'm right. saying? Like y'all ain't got y'all ain't got them fucking y'all ain't got the kablammer. Your <laughs> y'all's cops like Y'all can fucking fire on the police out there in fucking in France and England and shit. There's a whole subdivision of police in England called the armed police. Yeah. Like they have to make themselves known and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck it. Like over here, they just all, that shit is standard. Everybody that got shit it. is right. Everybody yeah, got that, it on them. 
They yeah. got it on. <laughs> yeah, that shit is like that shit is fucking 2K Cop Standard Edition. Everybody come with the Blickenstein. <laughs> so like, I don't know. Yeah, man. One hundred percent. Yeah, I mean, I, I yeah, I, I don't know, I don't know what like, I hate, I, I just hate that sentiment. Like, oh, America, take notes, as if right. we're doing something wrong. Like, oh. motherfuckers been dying behind this shit, bro. What do you mean, take notes? Right. Like, you know, well, like, like yeah. the reason yeah. that they can die behind. Yeah. Go ahead. You go ahead, bro. I was just saying, ain't nobody trying to really die behind this shit if they don't have to. Yeah, yeah exactly. Because I'm like, there's, there's a reason that they feel comfortable enough to do that shit, and the primary one. Is yeah, because their police are you know normally there to protect them and not the interests of the co- of the corporations that support them. The second reason being is when they do that shit, shit changes. Yeah. Like like when we do shit like that over here in America, shit the shit takes a break. <laughs> it doesn't stop happening. That, that shit just goes out right. That shit places. shit goes on fucking sabbatical, man. Like with yeah. jo- with George Floyd, like that shit stopped for like. A total of six months, like the year at 2021, the year after we had a fucking another one, and I'm like, bro, we gotta, we gotta start dirty niggas. That's just what's gotta happen yeah. at this point. Yeah, <laughs> For real, yeah. Gotta- I mean, yeah, and it, it, it's it's gonna take like, you know, it, it's gonna take more than, I mean, it, like, I just think like people are too uncomfortable uh, with, uh, I mean, fucking, I don't know, not not to get too like fucking. Not to throw the koofy on and shit, but fucking Malcolm <laughs> X said that shit, man. Fucking by any means, bro. Any means the fuck he, You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like what you think he meant by that? Right. <laughs> you know, like some, some, some. That means, hey, some people on both sides gotta go. Gotta like go. it's not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it's not gonna be pretty. You ever seen a war that was pretty? <laughs> like, nope. no. I don't know, bro. Like, so that's why you know it's an uncomfortable truth, and like, the I, I think like. The difference is like uh the 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 side that is in power is a lot is was always better and more equipped to organize and mobilize and shit. So like we've always been at a fucking disadvantage, you know? So like it's gonna be a lot harder for, for you know, people on the on the it's it's a lot harder for the oppressed to overcome basically. Yeah. But like I don't know, I, I, I know it's I know it's possible. There's definitely a, uh, there's definitely a cold war like on the internet for sure. Yeah. Um, like there's like, you know what I mean? Like there's, there's the in real life violence, obviously, but then there's like, you know, the, the, the internet culture behind the whole thing that like kind of fuels it. Right. And, uh, I think it's like, honestly, I think it's like two separate battles really. You know what I mean? Cause like, if you're not really tapped in, with this shit, like I don't know if you've seen. Have you seen that guy on TikTok that he's black and he he like he goes into like the most racist town ever and like interviews the yeah, same he'll, guy he'll, yeah, he'll over and over. That one clan or quote unquote clansman. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. one dude, and he's like, and he's like, who's your favorite? Uh, he's a, yo, he be wild. He's like, who's your favorite little rapper? And he's like, which one died most recently? Yeah. Like, yo, what the fuck? Like that. Bro? That nigga is od, bro. Like it's. I'll yeah. see. I'll see like a clip or like an edit every now and then. And yeah. it's just, that nigga just always has like the wildest fucking responses to his questions. Yeah, and it's like, and, and and you know what? And my beef with this is my beef with y'all TikTok. Yeah, that's right. Y'all fucking leave that shit up, but you take down my grimace video. What's right. up with that shit? It was scary. Oh, that, grip, that was cinema, my it nigga. Was, like was, that was cinema. It was scary, bro. You know niggas can't have nothing. We want to see. We want to see the Nick Fuentes Rest of the world. The <laughs> just just pass out. <laughs> Nah, bro. They want me. They they want me eating. They want me eating fucking Kennedy's fried with a monkey in my car. I know you've seen that shit. <laughs> why they had to like? Why he had to do us like that? What was that shit on his lip, man? I, do y'all know what I'm talking about? It's a video like on the timeline, like circulating of just a dude with a literal monkey. He is black, and he has a monkey, and he's sitting in his car, and he's just he's just eating. He's eating a a a a, a le- like a, a a drum, and he's sharing an individual chicken drum with a literal monkey, with like a bunch of white shit around his mouth, and I'm like, bro, not not his not Vine repeating itself, bro, not yeah. King Bach yeah. reincarnated in the flesh, bro. Yeah. 
like we so what are like, you doing and I, what I, is I, going on i wish you were there for like the episode where we were talking about like how 20 like the internet from like 2013 to 2016 made non-black people or non non-minorities hella comfortable with disrespecting minorities in public like the yeah, vine, bro. the vine era did irreparable damage to like community relations no, and shit cuz like that whole oh my god like you got yeah, white women it. white women screaming negroes in the street hopping through the Crazy. hood talk about I'm gonna steal all your baby daddies and shit and I'm like fam this is this is not humor that's <laughs> this what I'm is saying not bro funny like what me. Yeah, like like this shit is not it's not funny at bro, all, man. I just, I just watched this video. This you is, found it? This is insane, bro. Hold on, yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, hold on, hold on. I, I I hold on. There, uh, uh, smoke. I just sent it in the. You don't even gotta watch it. Just look at this insane screenshot. That's a crazy cat, bro. <laughs> look at this bro, insane that, screen that, cap. That, that were, shit is yeah. fucking nuts, bro. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I hate it here. Bro. <laughs> How are, we supposed to, here, how are we supposed Whoa. to win? How are we supposed to win? Can't, man. Inter- we got, we got <laughs> people like that out there. Internet points is more important than self-respect, bro. People <laughs> dancing and gyrating and shit. Like, in front oh, of, oh like, my god. Oh, not grooving, not grooving Gorilla, man. Yeah, man. He, he came to our town on a club appearance. Um, oh no! No, he did a walkthrough. Yeah, they paid him for. They paid him for the walkthrough. They paid. They paid bro. mans for the fucking walkthrough. It's bro. so nasty. They paid mans to come through and nigger it up, bro. Like it was insane. Uh, like, like just like <laughs> you know, the promoter that shared that y'all hating a uh, big group, but that's not gonna make your pockets fat. I'm like, bro, why are we going to the club to party with big group? He don't even fit. The- this is a small town, man. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I the big group walkthrough is nasty. Yeah. <laughs> now, nah, I, I will say there was one that made sense. There was one appearance of his that made sense, and it was the Spanish restaurant one, because he be dancing exactly like we be dancing. <laughs> so, so when he went over there, it honestly wasn't that weird. To me, I saw least. that one. I'm like, he but was like, kind of on point with that one. Like, it know, was, like, yeah, and, and also like the song they chose. It was a Dominican, like it was a Dominican restaurant. They chose a Dominican song. I think it was a Dominican restaurant, but they chose a Dominican song. And I'm like, okay, he just looks Dominican now, right? Like, you know what I mean? Like, he just looked Dominican. But like when we when he be doing that shit in fucking Zaxby's, right? Like this shit's just hella you know weird, bro. Like, bro, <laughs> yeah. you're, you're dancing with chicken in your hands, bro. Like. It's the reason why that Mary J. Burger King commercial got taken down immediately. The no, he, he had the gold. He had the Golden Corral doing the Walk It Out. He had the Golden Corral bumping right. DJ Unk. <laughs> walk like, It Out remix. I'm like, nigga, six two swole as fuck, trying to dance around yeah. a bunch of people, brother. Yeah. What are you doing, okay, gang? Honest, honestly though, would you not act a fool if you knew nobody they could beat your ass? Oh Absolutely. yeah, for sure. Right. Right? 100%. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Who's, who's saying anything? <laughs> it's just like to um, him. when niggas. Bro, we dance like that, nigga. Like, when, nigga <laughs> when niggas try to clown uh, Jackie Chan for the outfits he used to wear, I'm like, nigga, you not finna square up with that nigga? <laughs> like, oh my, and, like, he's gonna do you real bad. Right. He's gonna hurt you. Yeah. No, really first, bad. first he's gonna say, "Please, I don't want, I don't want any trouble," and then he's gonna he just and then start he's gonna whooping niggas as. Up for <laughs> an hour and thirty minutes. Yeah. Right, that nigga finna. Yo, by, by the way, the fuck in. Yeah, <laughs> yo, but I, by, speaking of Jackie Chan, I think that certain media should be absolved of criticism, and one of these certain medias is the entire Rush Hour franchise. <laughs> I'm with, I'm riding with you. <laughs> I'm riding with you. I watched one hundred percent, bro. Yo, have you have you gone back and watched? Yes, hell yeah, my nigga. Yes, I ran him right back. He said, "Yo, what he said?" Yeah, what <laughs> well, he said, he said, "Yeah, he said I've been looking for your sweet and sour chicken yes. ass." I'm like, he was, <laughs> it was insane. Yeah, man. Like you, the, the only the, movie on record where Jackie Chan says the N word. <laughs> Yo, what's up? what's up, my nigga? My nigga, 
<laughs> no, we we Yo. like we be quoting that shit. We still be saying Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> Hachi, Hachi. Nah, Jesus. bro. Yeah, I think certain shit, certain shit. Listen, if you like, that's how you. Hey, you know what? That's how you differentiate between like, like us and the new the new blacks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the the new blacks hate rush hour and they don't like tropic thunder and the rest <laughs> of us are like ah oh, come on you they know what the fuck fuck like you know what the fuck he you know what the fuck he <laughs> meant by that shit Look, in tropic thunder playing. listen i don't i I'm think do playing a dude the sky is another, another dude. dude yeah and i yeah, think yeah, yeah. i think media literacy is just something that was lost between like generations like between millennials and gen z because we can understand that shit dude like we get it yeah but like we're outside for it the but, nuance is there it's yeah but it's like it. oh my god robert downey jr did blackface watch the fucking movie before yeah, you yeah, comment yeah, yeah. everything don't need to be a fucking think piece you niggas get yeah. on my fucking nerves <laughs> having opinions on niggas that have no interaction with y'all like Talk this, to him. like this whole fucking they, Kiki Palmer shit, bro. I'm like, oh I, boy. On the one hand, I I'm a very private person, right? So like, I believe in praising public, punishing private. If y'all had to have a discussion about what she wore, you should mm. like going to the internet is lame as fuck for anything. Yeah. Anything that's yeah, yeah. a household problem is lame as fuck to me. But yeah, yeah. he was we, out of the house washing the. Kid, he was mad, bro. Right, <laughs> <laughs> like that nigga was on he babysitting was like, duty, he was tight. Like, he was he tight because he had to babysit. <laughs> Yo, he know what? He put no, he put the bottle in the in the fucking. I've been there, bro. He put the bottle in the fucking in the in the bottle warmer, mm. waiting for that shit to waiting for that shit to bubble. He checked Instagram. His lady hugged up with. Usher, Usher Raymond, Raymond. <laughs> like your lady over there moving her hips to an Usher song, and then oh got it this feeling. Phone <laughs> oh, just looking like this, just open tweet, just ready, yeah. ready to let yeah. them bitches fly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, open tweet, and all, all you hear is now, all you hear is. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? What? As a man, <laughs> just, yeah, 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 yeah. You're a. You're a mother. Why are you wearing what I said you could wear? <laughs> Yo, and then you hit nah, then he hit send tweet and you hear the MCU <laughs> <laughs> That fucking yeah. the symbiote Spider-Man theme. That nigga really thought yeah. that one was gonna do it. Through to the phone, just, yeah. You're uh, a, nah, sure. her. Yeah, yeah, I know nah, I know he felt like a hero. That <laughs> thing oh, yeah. like Yo, and my, Every my thing, nigga that agree with that nigga, like he he just felt the battery just grow in his back. Just. <laughs> Bro, my 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 thing is like with that whole situation is like if they was both regular, like if they was both regular people, and she was like, I don't know, like just some randos girl that got attention from Usher for some reason, mm. and like you know what I'm saying, like if they was both normy, normal people. Right, but that's yo. When your lady is Kiki Palmer and you are a, and you are a Philadelphia Eagles stan account on uh, Twitter, you're a guy. Yeah, <laughs> some, some nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when you're when you're so, when you're just a dude, and your lady is Kiki Palmer, like regular I'm, man. Yeah, like I'm sorry, yeah, bro, like one there. Yeah, like you you just gonna have to be fine with whatever the fuck you do. Like right. you gotta play your role, man. Like. Nigga, you yeah, cannot, yeah, 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 yeah. You cannot step out of your fucking lane making demands <laughs> with somebody. She open up the relationship. Hey, you just gotta. You, what cope. are you gonna do? You gotta cope. Yeah. Fucking cope. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, cope and seethe, brother. And like, but yeah, no, I, t- I, I agree with Smoke. Like, yeah, like, I mean, that's a conversation you gotta have in private. And it's like, yeah. oh, people are like, oh, but you know, she she embarrassed him in public, though. How? My brother in Christ, she did not embarrass him. She is a fucking legend, a living legend. <laughs> right. Like, let's call it what the Jackson, fuck it is. Yeah. Let's, let's call it what the fuck it is. Tr- Aquila in the yes, beat. Yeah. True Jackson. She an original fucking, uh, Tyler Perry, like, actress. Like, she was part of that first wave of actors and shit. But, but that's he was what I'm saying. That's she, what I'm saying. Like, no. Hello? Hello? 
Like, she is, she is a fucking, she's a, a public figure, well-known public figure, a well-known black public figure in a fucking, in, in a predominantly black space with another fucking li black living legend. Like, what the <laughs> fuck did you think was going to happen? You right. thought they was going to fucking, you know what I'm saying? You thought they was going to sing a hymn? Like, <laughs> what the fuck? It's like, huh? This yeah. <laughs> Darius Dalton or Usher fucking Raymond. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let me let me weigh some my guy. goddamn options. Some some I'm like you yo like you bagged her. Just chill. Right. Yeah. What? Like, I was like, nigga, you like y'all don't you gotta understand, man, bro. Like, You've already fucking won. You don't yeah, need you to do shit else. And she wanna dance I'm like the way the way yeah. that like the internet reacted, you would have thought that them niggas was fucking on stage. <laughs> and, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. And dude was like, "You're it's, a mother." I'm like, "That means she gotta stop having fun." It's a Vegas reg re uh, re residency from Usher. Come on, man, from that's what he is. Right? Yeah, from exactly. Like Usher. what? <laughs> Again, he, he, he yeah, was tight I'm, with them diapers, man. <laughs> Listen, man, I, I, I ain't scared of nobody named Darius. Sorry. Yeah. Like, I ain't scared of nobody. I'm not. <laughs> nope. Brother, I ain't scared the... of nobody named Darius. I know. I'm one... not taking orders. <laughs> I know one Darius out of all the the Dariuses, Darii, however you pluralize that shit. <laughs> Dari. <laughs> I, I know one out of all them niggas that is a solid dude. Everybody else yeah. has taken an L because, like, you got Darius Cooks. You got Darius Dalton. <laughs> like y'all niggas yeah, that's are what on I'm a, saying. Y'all niggas are on an L spree. Y'all niggas are the on bad an pressure, L like Darius train, like. nigga. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that shit. Hold on, hold on. What's up? Yeah, now now we gotta now we gotta now we gotta see now we gotta see who else who else taking the L. Uh huh. Hold on, never mind. You know you know what's crazy? I do not know another famous Darius. I just looked up famous Dariuses, famous <laughs> Darii, and and like none of these people ring a bell at all, bro. Like, like okay, well, I mean, I guess Darius Miller, maybe. I was gonna he say a basketball player, but I, um, I had like I had sport to, niggas. I had to go back into the recesses so. of my mind to even pull up Darius Rucker. <laughs> like that's like yeah. the oh, one. Yeah, Hootie and the Blowfish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like all the yeah. other ones. Oh, wait, 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 oh, wait. wait, we missing one. Oh my god. Of course, how could we forget Darius McCrary? You right. You know what? You don't even know you don't even know him by name, do you? Mm -mm. It doesn't come to mind as a Darius I would immediately think of, but my nigga from Family Matters. Yeah, that's Darius McCrary. Yep. Yep. Right, we said that name, I was like, yeah, this my nigga from Family. <laughs> Shut up, man. man. <laughs> The last, the last. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to, shout out to the one cool Darius. Right. Him and fucking Bro, Dar Darius the Great. <laughs> yeah. Fucking yeah. Persian Dude, I think King. it's so wild. They. I, <laughs> yo. Oh. I think it's so wild that he did Family Matters. He did Family Matters and Mississippi Burning. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck kind of? What the fuck? <laughs> What the fuck kind of resume is that? Like family matter, Mississippi burning the first yeah, Transformers. That, that yeah. nigga is elite. Yeah, 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 yeah. That nigga is elite. Oh my god. Yeah, so yeah. Dude, me. I'll take two. I'll take two. Like... Yeah. Nah. He. Yeah. He was. He. He, he was outside for real. Yeah. He yeah. really was, man. Like I. He was. That nigga. I swear to God, he was in something else. Yeah. Uh, next, yeah, I mean, air. Was, I mean, he, next day air. Next day air. One of them, yeah. one of them yeah. B movies. Yeah. One of them hood yeah. B movies. Yeah, he was in that too. <laughs> Dog. Yeah. Next day air rare as shit. Next, I remember yeah. I read something. It doesn't say the N word at all. It's like we're better than that. We don't need it. We don't need that. Yeah. She like, it. Okay. She it. You could, you know, you didn't have to go that route. You could have just yeah. said it was a stylistic choice. Right. Also, shout out to like the 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 shout out to like the funny. I'm being a little, I mean, you know, I'm being a little insensitive here, I guess. But shout out to, like, the funny, like, bigger Asian lady that is in every hood movie. And she does, like, a voice. She, yes. You know yes, exactly. Sir. Yeah. <laughs> Next she Friday. Was, yes. Bro, I don't know who 
I don't know what like black person, black family keep her on payroll. Like it's somebody, it's somebody's granny looking out for her best friend. Like they you know just always get her. It's like yeah. I got the John Blaze for you. Like okay, yo. She was so fucking funny. Yo, she's funny in everything. But yeah, shout out to unnamed uh, bigger chi- uh, bigger Asian lady. I, I forget it, her name. but I think that her name in the movie was Miss Ho Kim. I think the actress's name is uh, Amy Hill. Hold on. Miss Ho Kim. Mm-hmm. I bet. Damn. I, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is Amy Hill. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Good shit, Smoke. Yeah, man. Smoke, man. I told you, brother. Smoke. The, the, the tism be tismin. <laughs> yeah, smoke, smoke man, smoke man, smoke Netty the grimy boot man. That's a that's a new one. That's a new one. Put that in smoke the Netty the grimy boot man. Put that in the notepad. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna delete yeah. this part out so people think I came up with it myself. <laughs> Damn! Now you poaching? That's crazy. Um, wow. I'm gonna tag you in it. But yeah. <laughs> um... <laughs> But yeah. yeah, man, like it's it's oh. it's a quote that we always say, uh, and this applies to all level of fucking dating. Date people that like you, because like this should not be this like yeah. the shit that she did should not come as a surprise to a couple that's communicating and understands each yeah. other. That shit should not have come yeah, as a yeah. surprise. It shouldn't have been a fucking issue. Yeah, yeah. Date date people who like you and like. Date people, uh, date people in your in 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 your lane, in your bracket, you know, because like, <laughs> don't yeah, because I feel like we, yeah, like we always talk about oh, celebrities only date the same ten people. It's like yeah, you know, because when you're fucking, when you're making Justin Bieber money, like when you're making Bad Bunny money, like it's not <laughs> a whole lot of people that you know what I'm saying. Like it's not a whole lot of people on earth that can match your fly, right. that can match your. Like your day to day, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I remember when, uh, yo, <laughs> I remember New-, New York Twitter was in sh- fucking Bronx Twitter was in shambles, bro. When 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 Bad Bunny was like, when those like paparazzi photos came out of Bad Bunny with Kendall Jenner, oh my God, Bronx Twitter was in fucking <laughs> shambles. The, I, I you could hear you could hear BBLs across the borough just like <laughs> le- <laughs> just <laughs> leaking just leaking. Speaking in bombing fluid and whatever else they put in that motherfucker, but Bro. <laughs> yo, yeah, I think the funny, the funniest tweet I seen from it was like, I can't believe this, yo. Like, I'm so done with Bad Bunny. And like, <laughs> somebody was like, What do you, what, what did you think he was gonna do? Come to Burnside and rescue <laughs> a bump bitch? <laughs> <laughs> And like, yo, it's facts though, bro. Like, you thought he was gonna come to the trenches for you and rescue a bum bitch for like, you, for you specifically. So, <laughs> like, yeah. that's the dating pool for that nigga. Kardashians, uh, other various models, bad bitches with like, money. Not, yeah, bad that's what I'm saying. Money. Like, so yeah, so I stopped. You know, I, I like I get it now because I'm like not not because I'm like rich or whatever. I'm very much not that, but but like I get it as in like you know date people in your lane because then you get a fucking Darius. Dalton, Dalton. You, get a, you, get, you get a fucking Wait. Philadelphia clip from his post than he expected. <laughs> Got scared. Yeah, 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 yeah. You get a Philadelphia Eagles Stan account situation. That's insane, bro. That's crazy, bro. Yo, he he posts so much of the Eagles that people thought he played for the team. That's how <laughs> much his Twitter was just like there was more there was more Eagles content than pictures of his child. The dating like, is crazy. Was, Damn. <laughs> there was there was like there was more like there was more back to back eagles than than there were like baby pictures. You know what I'm saying? And like as a father, bro, like you could not stop me from posting Godric and Griffin. Like you know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. Like I post the motherfuckers every day, you know? So like him for him to, <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, I don't know. That shit that shit scrolling through his media was that shit looked crazy to me. So <laughs> Yeah, it's a father. That shit look crazy to me. Like, just no kids, just all team. Just all eagles, bro. Eagles. eagles. That shit is crazy. Yeah. Oh, wait, birds. wait, hold on. I kind of, oh, wait. We, I, 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 I did want to get into the scrub quotes thing. I like that. Topic. Hell yeah, yes, sir. boy. Yes, sir. That was, yeah. that was the next thing is, um, you know, just general general fgc shit 
Cause like I um yeah. I sent, I know I sent you one and it was just to follow the account because you see both extremes of the fucking community in the scrub quotes. <laughs> yeah. And it's so fucking yeah. funny. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's so funny that, like, I, I mean, you know, I I founded, I guess, you know, a fighting game organization, if you will. But, like, I just think it's so funny that, like, I don't be in the mix like that really at all. And I still manage to piss people off. <laughs> like, <laughs> like you know that, that, you know that HBCU anime account? Yeah. Oh, my fucking like, God. Yeah. Oh. Okay, I'm glad we're, I'm glad we're all, we all feel the same. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like whoever runs that account has only seen four anime in their yeah. entire life, and like, and like that's okay, right? But like, you know, let's, yourself as like an anime expert account. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like call, like change your app, bro. HBCU Shonen. Yeah. Look, look how much better, look how much better that roll off the You're tongue. Right. You know what I'm saying? You but narrowed that it's right more accurate. On <laughs> yeah, yeah. HBCU Shonen. But um, but yeah, I mean, as far as like the scrub coast thing, I don't know. I. Uh, what's what's that dude's name? Phil something. He just he he just uh, always complains when he side, loses. Dark side Phil. Yeah yeah yeah. So like when he posted his video, like I ain't even put together. Like I already knew who Dark Side Phil was, but it had been years yeah. since I seen any of his shit. Same. So I ain't even put together that 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 was him. Mm -hmm. I just thought it was like some vet player that was just disgruntled with Street Fighter Six and Ooh. and like I don't know like. Uh, like out of context like in a bubble that video alone like he was spitting bro i'm sorry like <laughs> you know that like, look you know hey look you you know that 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 picture of, of the bald guy who kind of looks like me if i was like full white like that he's and it's like the worst person you know just made just a great made a point, good point. <laughs> like, yeah yeah that dude the, uh -huh. <laughs> he looks like me if i had four white grandparents yeah that guy so <laughs> <laughs> and the thing yeah. and it was and like you you made a good point. I might have to go back and get the tweet because I don't want to misquote you. But like there was some there was a back and forth that was going on in the comments that was really good and I was like, you know, a lot of a lot of the the newer players, or I, I guess I should say casual players, because that's it's kind of a slur at this point, because nobody <laughs> wants to be nobody wants to be called a casual, even though that's you know what the fuck you are. Um, yeah. There are a lot of casual players that have this misconception about you know the the community at large. Yeah. And if if you're if you want to get good at something, you take the time to get good at it. And there, there's yeah. a there's like a sect of people that think just because they're playing the game, they should be able to play at the level as niggas who have years dedicated to this shit. Yeah, and, I sent it to you, by the way. Okay, cool, cool. And I I will pull that up while I'm while yeah. I'm going on this fucking rant. But <clears throat> a lot, a lot of what a lot of casual players will do, and this isn't it's not just my experience. I see it, I see it on stream. I've been in IRL tournaments, online tournaments, enough. Like, what they will do is go to training mode, practice nothing but combos, go to a tournament, get upset that they lost, run back to Twitter and talk about how either the community sucks or the game sucks. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what Phil did. Like, Phil, Phil plays Street Fighter VI like it's super turbo. Yeah. And, and you and can... That's never going to work. Yeah. Right. And you cannot do that. Games change, yeah. you yeah. know, and he just refuses to accept the fact that, you know, this you're not the hot shit anymore because the yeah. game is different. You have to adapt to the game. It's just like anything you do in life, bro. Nothing's going to be the same 30 years later. Yeah, like, you can't <laughs> expect. Yeah, you can't expect a fucking you cannot expect a Tesla to drive like the fucking 99 Civic that you had in, in high school or whatever. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think my. uh my my uh my issue with like just the fgc at least not in person because in person people are really like nice you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying but like i think online you know there's just this sense of like gotcha ism that like everybody's just insanely rude to each other for no fucking reason mm -hmm. and like it's just it's just i don't know it's just a lot bro because like you know what i'm saying like i've been around a lot of people I've spoken to a lot of people. I've been around motherfuckers that ain't got nothing to lose. 
and I know when somebody is like that for real. And and even on Twitter, you could tell when motherfuckers is not like that. So, right. <laughs> you yeah. know, so it's it's funny to me when people get so like crazy like that and like talk to people crazy. But like, yeah, uh, my so my issue is like with the other side of that. It's like, yes, you gotta adapt with with the game. Yes, you have to evolve with the game, or you're gonna get left behind. It just is what it is. But at the same time, though. Any and all criticism leveled against a video game doesn't even have to be fighting games. Oh, get good. You're a scrub. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it's like, yo, like, I don't know if y'all know the difference, bro. Like, <laughs> I can, like, I can, like, I can, I'm not, I don't dislike Dark Souls because I'm bad at Dark Souls. I dis, I, I can't, I don't have the patience for Dark Souls, but like, as a like as a game and i think like i just think that as a game it's got its issues and it's like a little overrated that's fair and like you know the fucking soulsborne guys will fucking get on my ass about that shit it's like oh just say you suck at it bro just say this just say that and it's like bro that's not that's a fair at all what i'm saying yeah also like my my favorite souls like i like souls there are certain soulsborne souls like games that i do enjoy but at large, I think a lot of them are the same fucking game, bro. <laughs> it's the same game. Like, it's the same dodge roll, big armor, fucking and, thing. You know. And what, and what you and said. And I, I just wish there was more room for criticism. I got you. I I agree. And like what you said is it's a valid criticism. And there there were kind of like there's kind of like two points that I wanted to make just going off of that. One, it's all of, all of the shit that we're talking about is almost Twitter exclusive. Because yeah. there there are like IRL yeah. groups that I'm in with the with you know the local fighting game community or like even some regionals that I go to. None of this shit sounds like the shit you see on Twitter. Because the same niggas telling you yeah. get good just got there just got fucking washed fifteen and yeah. 0 online. So it's like yeah. I ha I have to look like I'm that nigga, but really I'm not. Yeah. Um, the the second point being is I think because with with the FGC specifically like. A lot of the malice that gets generated from like some of the some of the other players is due to the simplification of the genre, which on yeah. one hand it's not, it's not a bad thing. You know, you want more people to come in, but that's that's where the biggest issue is now. That's why there's so much animosity between the casual crowd and the competitive crowd because from Street Fighter Four's launch in 2008 all the way up to around. Um, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. So like a, yeah. almost a 10 year gap. Those games were streamlined. They were made extremely accessible. They lowered the skill ceiling basically. So like what you have in that scenario is the pro players who were good at the games that were hard to be good at are now fucking yeah. gods in the games that are easy. So the pe so yeah. people that are trying to get into those are like well y'all said this is going to be easy. I'm getting my ass whooped worse now than I was five years ago. Or yeah, in the last yeah, yeah. iteration of my game. And they took a lot of that criticism online and started calling, like, comp and when I say competitive, I mean, like, professional players. Like, niggas, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. niggas that will stream this game for six, eight hours a day. They started, like, you know, mudslinging the pro players. It's like, oh, my yeah, God, like, everybody's fucking sweaty online. These yeah. fucking no-lifers. And, you know, <laughs> that kind of turned them into, like, well, I mean... Nigga, if you wanna if you wanna be better, get fucking good. Practice. Learn. Yeah, also also you you were just on stream. Do you know who you were playing? Like yeah, they will right. say that and then they they will say that and then come off of playing Knuckle Do. Yeah. <laughs> like that like that like at least like at least know the landscape. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? Like, don't be on stream talking about all oh, these guys are so sweaty. Bro, that's punk. <laughs> right. This nigga, like, this, this, this nigga gets, famous gamers that do this <laughs> yeah. shit. This nigga gets That's paid Idom. to turn this game on. Like, yeah, yeah. Bro, really just like, called. I got watched by some guy named Sonic Fox. Like, what right. the fuck, man? <laughs> it's, it's like this fucking yeah. sweat. But yeah. and it's and there, there's like there's a lot that goes into it. Like, in all honesty, we could turn that shit into like a two hour convo. But there's a lot that. I've seen just with my tenure in the community of where, you know, like a newer player or a casual player will 
won't they basically they won't put the work in and then get mad at the results they don't get and yeah, that's yeah, where yeah, yeah. that's where a lot of the early criticism came on because it's like okay well how how often are you in training mode oh I just get I just get on and go straight to rank my nigga there's a oh. mode called casual match like you're not yeah. working those combos <laughs> out you're not you're wearing right. defensive situations you're... yeah and like that's where you can go to have fun and then you yeah. know once you you know once you work your kinks out or whatever then you can go to ranked and see and. I really, I really just think people put a lot of stock in online rank or like tournament placements when the goal is improvement. It's not the win. Like a tournament, your goal, if you're starting out, your goal as a player should never be to win a tournament is to see how far you can get. And yeah. you know, that way you can learn what to work on, you know, how to improve matchups you might be struggling with. The wins will come, but improvement is always the first goal for new players. I, I guess... I guess that's why I don't have fun. <laughs> um, you're, because, you're going for the tournament win, aren't well, you? Well, because because like I'm the main character, you know. Like this is my, <laughs> like the, I, I think the juice kicking in, man. But, uh, <laughs> Shout out EX Water. Yes, sir. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, no, what? Uh, uh, what's the what's the um what's that what's that like the the sixth floor market? In like Celadon City, the, the sixth floor mart in Pokemon. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, the, yeah. And you go all the way. You go, you go to the roof and you get the vending machine. Yes, that shit. That's what I was sipping on. <laughs> you were sipping on that lemonade. Right. <laughs> or, yeah, or no, that yeah, water. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was sipping on. I was sipping on pixel rooftop water. That's what I was. Yes, sir. <laughs> that's what I was getting on. But yeah, um, I think. But honestly, though, like you raised a good point where like the goal shouldn't be to win, and I'm like, damn. That's all my goal has ever been. So when I don't, you know what I mean? You're so right. like you, ta- you take it harder. I Pause. take that shit personal, you know? Hey, hey yo. yo. <laughs> 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 but, but um yeah, uh but yeah, no, that that is that is a very good point. But at the same time though, I think like the community like I feel like people who play fighting games are kind like they they sound they sound hypocritical when they say things like Everyone should play fighting games. Everyone should pick up a controller or a fight stick or whatever, right? But then, uh, that community isn't the best at handling questions or criticism. You know what I'm saying? And, like, by questions, I mean, like, concerns, like, with a game or concerns with, like, a matchup or something. And it's, like, and it's, like, like, I just feel like the two don't always match. Like, it's not, it's... The general consensus is usually everyone should play fighting games. But then when everyone tries and they have a problem with it or they have a less than savory opinion or like, you know, they're like or or they're just discouraged. That discouragement, uh, whatever form it might take, is it's not met with like it's not met with warmth. You know what I'm saying? So like I think like somebody like Dark Side Phil, who's basically made a career out of being a scrub, like like uh, yeah, like that dude obviously is beyond saving, but I think like, you know, a person's first foray into fighting games, they hop on ranked immediately, they get bodied, and they're frustrated, and they go to Twitter and they go, oh, damn, like what the fuck am I supposed to do when I'm getting bodied, you know what I'm saying, like this game fucking sucks, I like that's your immediate re- reaction. That's your immediate like, reaction. Your immediate I'm, reaction. You're gonna get better. Ah. Exactly. Like fuck this game. This shit sucks, right? And like, I I just think like the fighting game community in general, I think should be a little warmer to 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 new players who don't possess the language or the lexicon to talk about their grievances with fighting games mm-hmm. adequately. And I I can agree with that, man, because. You and I, you and I have been there enough. Like we know that shit. That's not how that shit is, IRL. But no, not at all, <laughs> not at all. And like on on Twitter, it's a Twitter. Twitter is a vacuum, and it is not indicative of any community that exists outside of Twitter. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> so I just I just want to put that as the disclaimer for everybody that might be listening or watching. Like any whatever fandom you are a part yeah. of, Twitter is like the worst part of that fandom nine times out of ten. So, so don't go there yeah. thinking that that's the big picture. Um, but you, I, I yeah. can't agree because with us, all of us grew up in the, like fighting games. 
were basically like sports back in the day. You know, like you if you didn't know how to play, somebody had yeah. to teach you. And if somebody didn't teach you, then, you know, yeah. you just did yeah, yeah. what you had to do to make it through. And nowadays, I think I think that, like, I, I'll honestly say that, like, a lot of a lot of like more prominent players are kind of jaded to it just because we're in the age of the Internet. So I'm yeah. like, think if you want help with a matchup, bro, you could type in just use a Street Fighter as an example. You could type in Ken versus Guile and find hundreds of pages of different people playing yeah. this fucking matchup. But what I think a lot of the older FGC doesn't understand is that a lot of the new players don't have the propensity to learn the way that we do. So, like, when we watch yeah, a yeah, match yeah, exactly. or, or we watch a tournament, we know what to look for. We know what what um, a player might be, what situation a player might be trying to create versus how another player is trying yeah. to respond to it. We see that. And it's not, it's not really, like, I can't, I can't give you my eyes. You know what I'm saying? All I can right. do is, all I can do is tell you, hey, this is where you can go if you want some help. I can offer you what I know. And you know, try to you yeah. know try to boost your knowledge at least, but and that's you know that's anecdotal because I obviously I don't speak for the whole fucking community, but a lot of the community is just like well you know information's out there go get it, <laughs> and I'm like they yeah they have, yeah, yeah, they, yeah, have yeah. they have no starting point basically, so it's yeah. like if I tell you if I tell somebody you know after a knockdown use heavy kick Jin Rai for your Oki. A player that just picked up Street Fighter Six is not gonna know what the fuck that means, and like, yeah, tell, no, and telling no. them to go look that up is not gonna help them understand the implementation of yeah. that. So, I I do agree with you on that point. Like, as a community, at least as an online community, we could probably be a little bit better about you know teaching or helping newer players. Cause I don't I don't mind I don't mind sharing yeah. info, bro. Like I have. A bunch of friends like that play characters that I struggle against. So I'm like, hey, you know, you help run this first to ten with me, so I can, you know, improve, you know, get better. But a lot of people don't have that, yeah. and a lot of people don't have people that are willing to do that. And on the yeah. flip, I also like my fault. Go ahead. Was, oh, okay. I was like, and on the flip side of that, like, I think a lot of newer players just get caught up on losing. And that's just where yeah. that's just where the buck stops. I'm like, bro, fighting games. It's it's like the perfect metaphor for like it's a marathon, not a sprint. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. to get any level of good in fighting games, you are going to lose a lot. Nigga, even as, even yeah. with me being the level that I am, I still lose a fair amount. But yeah, you know, don't take like there's no money on the line. Losses shouldn't affect you like that. You're learning. <laughs> you're gonna lose that shit just happens yeah but, but i mean like you've been saying like you know it's a it's a mentality thing that's something that someone has to teach themselves yeah and like that's 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 what that's honestly the biggest hurdle is like how do you perceive it what do you want to do in this game and yeah i i'm sorry you go ahead i i yeah. No, no, right. but 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 if you be throwing controllers, stay the fuck home, bro. Yeah, don't yeah, stay home. You good on that? If you be throwing controllers and shit, man, stay your ass home. Like, yeah. are you raging and do something else? <laughs> just you know what I'm saying, bro. Go like, therapy, man. that's the one. I love that. That's the one thing that like we all agree on. <laughs> it's like, like, yo, you over there right. tantruming? Are you tearing shit up over there? Come on, yeah. Man. Get it, get yo, it you seen that? No, you you. Yeah, you seen that kid? It was like a couple weeks ago that the video of that kid that just starts swinging on yes. everybody. Yeah, that he was trying to fight, and I'm like, bro, do you not realize you what are in the a fuck? You are a white child in a room full and of niggas swinging around. Like, like, yeah, bro, you're yeah. out, bro. you're going to hit the wrong person no matter who you hit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. How <laughs> yeah. I, I, I lose in pools. <laughs> <laughs> Oh then, my god. And, then get out. and like and somebody told him. Come hey, back. Hey. Help. Sora. Oh my <laughs> Goofy! No! <laughs> wait, 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 what's the wait, wait, what's that video? What's my meat? <laughs> Yo <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Goofy, how are you gonna help him get better at fighting games? Huh? What's my money? 
<laughs> Yo! <laughs> oh my god. Holy that shit. <laughs> Where's Smoke? What happened to him? Where is he? Like, I think he, he's doubled over in laughter. Brother, I'm, I'm dying. <laughs> I'm over here actively dying. You're... I guessed right. <laughs> oh my god. But, um, yeah, man. It's um, it, there, There's a lot that goes into the convo. And I think, Rainy, you and I had this conversation. Um, fighting games is probably the loneliest genre because every yeah. everything it's is you. on you. Like when when, yeah. when you see players, when you see people going to like siege tournaments or Valorant or Dota, it's a team of folks. So like if something goes wrong, it's real easy to look to the left or the right and be like, who didn't do what in fighting games? Exactly. S somewhere along you. the line, you fucked up. How do you stop it from happening? Ever yeah. done a combat sport? Yeah, it's like you. Oh, it's boy. you. Be them. <laughs> it, it's all <laughs> you, and a lot of people. A lot of people just don't like to deal with that shit because it's like it yeah. makes it makes you like losing consistently makes you feel like you're not going anywhere. And oh, I, I'm trash. I totally get that, bro. Like I did. I've done martial arts and sports. I know Dent has done sports and wrestling. I, I don't know why I always separate wrestling like from other traditional ball sports, but <laughs> like it's out there, man. Like it's all you. So like, yeah. take your like, don't take your losses, you know, to heart. You know, it's, it's fucking. You can learn from those. You know, like if you go to a tournament and you go zero and two, go back to the stream. Go to the yeah. go get the vod. Watch what you did. Watch what you could have done. Yeah. Or even even if you're newer, man, like. In, in real life, I can't say this. I, I honestly have to tell y'all, like, it's very rare to find, like, solid people in the community on yeah. Twitter. So, yeah, you know. I mean, I, I mean, hold on. It's about to get real. It, it's about to get real. Uh, it's about to get real sen sen sentimental All right. in here. <laughs> but I found y'all. Hey. Love you, bro. I love you, man. I'm not going to kill myself tonight because of what you just said to me. <laughs> Why do you like this, man? <laughs> oh, man. No, man. I, no, but for real, uh, I fuck with y'all, man. Like, like I found, you know, like, for, for like, you know, for all the sewage that, that the fucking FGC is riddled with, like, there, there are, you know, there, there are, like, <clears throat> You know, I guess diamonds in the rough, and like the two of y'all happen to be two of them. You know, what I'm saying Hearst boys in particular, also you know, shameless plug. Like right. we've cultivated a pretty a pretty good community of people that like all play different games and help each other with different stuff. And I think a big proponent of the general consensus around fighting games, I think, has a lot to do with ranked. Because you were talking about how lonely it is mm -hmm. to play fighting games. It's especially lonely to take L after L after L from unforgiving, faceless, voiceless opponents that just <laughs> disappear after they bodied your whole shit. That just don't give a fuck about you as a person at all. Fuck you, suck my dick. Now I got out of gold thanks to you, you piece of shit. Right. No one fucking cares. <laughs> run what's it your, back. What's it? Yeah, run it back. Run it back. How about you run these nuts? Right. Run back. How about you run back to some bitches? Pussy. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for, you, man, the bitches. yeah. thanks for the rank. Thanks up. for getting me out of Yeah, yeah. Thanks for <laughs> thanks for getting me out of bronze, pussy. You know what I mean? Like it's like, oh man, appreciate the free platinum bitch ass nigga. <laughs> Good looks on yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so like ranked is you know, ranked is is that. But like I cause like I feel like cause I feel like shit when I lose in rank, bro. Mm. And like, but in real life. More often than not, the person sitting next to you is going to, like, help. Like, the person that just washed you, in my experience, more often than not, is actually willing to, like, help. Like, after the round. Like, they're like, okay, look, when I do this, you got to block low or, or jump back or neutral, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Th like, like, you're sitting next to another human being. So, like, at least for me personally, the losses don't sting as much. When it's in person, because I could just talk to the person next to me, you know. Right. But like online, bro, <laughs> a faceless fucking ghoul just took the win from you, bro. That's crazy to me. <laughs> like I don't know. Bro, bro. Nut shit. Like yeah. you get a, a message on PSN, just Yo. like, wait, who is this from? 
free. Yeah, body, you bitch free as fuck. Free. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah, bro. That shit is different. I think that has a lot to do with it too. It like the loneliness of it all. Like how 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 lonely ranked is specifically. And then like, you know you know what um. You know, there's this thing that fighting game players do, and it's similar to like when you ask somebody where they got some food from, mm -hmm. and, and they, they like don't tell you. Oh, the yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, and my I like okay. So one of my favorite uh, one of my favorite Tekken players uh, is uh, Victim of Ritual, and I know know the Victim probably. Oh, uh, uh, they're a Nina main by the way, and I know that they probably just didn't have time to get into it. But, like, it's not the only time I've heard this, but it's the most recent. And shout out to Victim. Uh, great Nina player. Made me want to get into Nina before I realized it was too much. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but I asked Nina, I'm like, yo, like, how'd you get so... I, I mean, I asked uh, Victim, I'm like, how'd you get so good? And, and they were just like, oh, well, I work... Uh, you know, I work... I have, like, like, three jobs, so I don't really have time to lab. I just, I've just hopped on ranked this entire time. And I'm like, oh, wow, so you're a liar. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, man, if you don't get the fuck, if you don't stop playing in my face, I know your ass be labbing, man. Right. Everybody got a lab. I don't give a fuck. This is my, most, this is my controversial take of the night. Everybody labs. Everybody give a fuck does. what they tell you, bro. Everybody, Everybody, Everybody labs. Everybody Motherfuckers does. be too cool to admit they lab, fuck bro. That. What kind of... That shit is weird. What is that? What, where did that come from? Right. When did that start? The motherfuckers are like, oh, I, I've just, I just hopped on rank. That's just, no, you didn't. Bullshit, man. No, you How you learn that combo? How you learn oh, that? You, yeah. You, you not didn't even, learn that shit on the fly, nigga. Not like, even that on, combo, bro. bro. How the fuck did you learn that setup? Because ain't no way you learned exactly, how to play. Exactly, bro. Ain't no way you learning how to play accurate neutral just by playing rank. Ain't no way. Ain't no goddamn way, man. Over, <laughs> over Wi-Fi? Over Wi-Fi? Get the wi fuck out of my face. Nah, bro. Nah, fuck fam. out of my face, bro. I'm like, fam, you can pull yeah. up, you can pull up like my my time wheel in any fighting game, and I guarantee you, sixty to seventy <laughs> yeah. percent of that shit is training mode. <laughs> bro, yeah, bro. Oh, you, there's no. Oh, okay. So, so you, so you're, so what you're telling me is you didn't set the bot to record and then have it jump in <laughs> and then press stop record. You didn't do that. No. That's. Right, no, my you rank, just, you my, just <laughs> all ranked up. <laughs> my reactions are, rank my reactions are so fucking elite that not only can I do that, I can do it on a character by character basis. So I know how to react Ooh. to Multiple every characters. option Straight that ranks. every character has just by playing Multiple niggas minus. in a two out of three in rate. Exactly. <laughs> Get over over Wi-Fi. Shut up. Somebody's there's a, there's a lie Shut somewhere. Up. Yeah, bro. Don't like. Don't say. Don't play. Like, I look fucking stupid, bro. Like, don't. Right. Don't play in my face, bro. That should be. Ugh. But shout out. Hold on. But it's no smoke to victim. Shout out victim. Oh, victim was victim oh, of yeah, ritual yeah, was sure. very yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're right. not cooking. Like, we just, we just, just speaking generally. <laughs> but I don't like that shit bro like <laughs> just tell me where you got the food at man right just tell me where you got the food at it's, tell me where the shirt is cool, from man. it's <laughs> listen yeah i was gonna say like if that if 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 your if your whole like swag and all that is dependent on you gatekeeping this one like item you or restaurant or whatever you ain't got it you ain't, you ain't got it bro because <laughs> if you it, like what also like what do you lose from just you You're, have no, no, yeah, there's only one there's only one player there's only one video game player in in history that i believe for real never labbed in his life and that's fucking mewtwo king oh yeah that nick yeah that nigga's neurodivergence carried him through his smash career that, mo <laughs> that motherfucker hand wrote the frame data yeah he did he hand he hand wrote the frame data for melee he programmed the game that's some mother that yeah that motherfucker right there that's the only one that I believe has never labbed in his life. <laughs> that it was not, unless it was on stream. I do, I, I not buying it. If he, it's crazy as fuck. If, he, if he said that shit today, I'd be like, yeah, you're absolutely right, Mewtwo King. Why would you need to lab? Right. You wrote the fucking frame. You hand wrote the frame data for Melee. You do not need, you don't need to lab. Ever. Like, That's knew, the only guy. But everybody else, enough. I, I knew, I knew Mans was different when his namesake was not his main character. 
I no. was like, nigga, your, your name is Mewtwo King. I've never seen you play this nigga. <laughs> Ever. That might have been who you mained, like, before the tournament scene got popping, but I have never seen you use Mewtwo <laughs> at Yo, all. never. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Is that a rare nigga nomination? I think that counts. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah, we can definitely. Rare, rare nigga nomination for this week. Nominate Mewtwo King. Mewtwo King. You, congratulations. You did it. Congratulations. <laughs> A winner is you. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh my yeah, fucking man. god. That's a yeah. feat. I just yeah. like I just the, my my one gripe that will make me like just absolutely hate you as a fighting game player and this is it's nothing personal. I don't care who you play. I don't care how you play the characters. Throw fireballs all match. Use that cheap ass move that your character has. But if you one and done me, I hope you get stage yep. 4. I hope you get the. I don't want you to die. I just hope you get stage <laughs> fucking four. Like you eat. Like it goes to last round, last hit. Ten seconds on the clock. You win, and it, you hit a frame perfect return to menu combo on me. I, bro. I hope yeah. you flip your fucking car. I hate that shit so much, man. <laughs> like or like you yeah. lose one round and then just immediate no rematch. Like nah, bro, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, yeah. I'm, no, I'm, I'm, I'm getting my, I'm getting my, I'm getting my salty. I'm getting right, my salty. Right, like run the set, bro. Yeah. Like we can, just a two out of three, fam. Nah, I don't care what nah. the, I don't care what the rules in your house no. were when you were growing up. You passed the stick after one loss. <laughs> nah, no, nigga, we doing a two out of three. <laughs> like grown men, like adults. <laughs> yeah, or I'm tripping I'm your grandma. My ass <laughs> That's what I'm and doing. I'm gonna get up out of here. That's what yeah. I'm, gonna do. I'm gonna take my I'm gonna take my Wi-Fi dub that I won in oh 70, 70 I'm gonna go play some turn-based Final Fantasy. Right. Yeah, I'm, to deal with it. <laughs> I'm gonna take my 138 MS win and <laughs> go fight somebody else. Yeah, yeah. No, this shit, yeah. It's yeah, I I, I don't I fighting games, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know? That's fucking really fighting what games. That shit is, bro. Just fucking yeah. fighting games. I fighting love games, them. man. And like, yeah, I love. I, I, I don't. No other, no other like space in video games like does this to people. Mm -hmm. I don't think like this is like it's 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 so vastly unique. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. this whole this space in general, like because really any like. Anybody could be in anything. Yeah. In this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like you could like the the same reason it feels lonely is the same reason it's so great because you could get it on your own ten toes down, bro. Like you could get it on your own yep. and it and that's all you. You know? That's all you. And like that's that's like the beauty of it. Like I think uh uh shout out to Okito fucking for existing basically <laughs> but like bro his like fucking what decade like 11 year run to like a championship and he finally got that shit in like 2018 or 2016 or something like that I think it was 2016. when he finally won when he finally won like capcom cup or some shit like that yep. and he hit the and he hit the akuma fucking stance mm -hmm. his little five his little five four ass hit the fucking <laughs> akuma <laughs> <laughs> but but that shit was dope like seeing shit like that is really dope yeah. like i love shit like that um also i love like like uh like community people who are pillars of the community and act as a resource like core a gaming mm -hmm. vesper RK, uh max like all of I, them dude yeah as for yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't like Max, I, I don't trust you, man. Like, I'm right. sorry. That that man has never bothered nobody. At all. If you don't like Max, like, it's something wrong with you. Like, yeah. now, nah, what the fuck have you done? Like, like, you know, like, like that, yeah. is, that, that, yeah. is, that is one clear man that I will ride for, bro. Like, Max, Max is cool as shit. Fucking love Bro, him, Max, dude. Max said that, Max said the N-word, like, by accident on stream once i remember because he was like because he was like making he was making fun of like the way something was spelled in chat that way someone spelled something right and he like said it in the midst of saying something else he spent like the rest of that week <laughs> like apologizing, apologizing for, for it saying that <laughs> yeah. shit. and it's like 
<laughs> and it's like, yo, literally, like, it's the most, like, that is the most harmless way I've ever seen it said. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, that man literally did not know he said that shit. And he still stood ten toes and was like, yo, nah, I fucked up. My bad. Damn. I'm sorry. Did not even hear it when I said it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he a good dude, bro. So, like, Max, shout out Max. Shout out Corey Gaming. Core A is so good. Yeah. I fucking love Core A. I go, I go back and watch their videos all the time. That shit is so dope. But yeah, Corey, community's Corey. cool sometimes. Yeah, and it, like, and yeah, the overarching community is is good as a whole. You just have it's one of those vocal minority situations because like everybody's on Twitter yeah. now, and like of course Twitter has become the place to go and complain very loudly yeah. to your to your fucking echo chambers. <laughs> and that's yeah. stuff. and that's what that's what people see, and the other large part of the community, like the reason that the fighting game community is so cool, is niggas. We did that shit. <laughs> like, fight, yeah. like bro, the FGC. Like, look at any fucking fighting game. The top players are either black or Asian. You might get yeah, somebody yeah, yeah. like Hispanic in there every now and then, but like niggas and Asians yeah. are gonna run the fighting game because yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> they yeah, just, yeah, yeah. we we just bring that element to whatever community like the fucking any hype. game really yeah any game yo you know my my favorite clip of like any like black nerd shit is when uh is when is when the guys like <laughs> the guys looking at his opponent he goes he goes uh. Oh, you hit me for what? Uh, uh, 28? And he goes, 38. 38! 38. 38. It's two? And he goes, ah! ah ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas was, bro, play, niggas was playing bro. Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> bro, he did the life point noise in real... <laughs> yeah. He yeah, did man. the life points anime noise in man. real life. Yeah. You're not, you're not said, getting that. <laughs> You're not getting no shit like that at a Fortnite tournament. That's you're all not, I'm saying. That, yeah, no, you're not doing, you know what I mean? Shout out black people, bro. That, that shit hit me like a truck, bro. Like, like shout out, shout out us, man. We lit. Yeah, <laughs> shout out to us, man. It's us. <laughs> Yo. Be at a tournament here and nigga bring that off of somebody after killing, dude. Right. It's like niggas just make the yeah. actual sound effects, bro. Shit is shit is nuts. Oh man, that was I. I think I have covered all the pertinent points, man. Like that's Doggo, please. that is uh that is pretty much. Yeah, I think conclusions. Yeah, man. Right. I, 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 this is great. I've had it. I've had a wonderful time. Shout out to shout out to Gold Sonic. Right. I know the the listeners can't see him, but I'm holding up. A Gujitsu Sonic, a Gold one. Sonic with gold rings in it. For the cop yeah, man, tonight. go do that. I mean, fire. And, and, if, and, and if you and if you can't and if you don't find him at Target, you you, you probably on StockX for four four hundred dollars. I was about to say, if I don't find it at Target, I'm gonna find it at somebody's house. Yo. <laughs> that's that's yeah, how we yeah. move. Robbery, in. yes, sir, allegedly. But again, shout wait, out. Wait, 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 wait. Before we before we go, What's up, before man? we go, I just I wanna on on the record on the podcast. I want to see if this motherfucker is sold out and on StockX now. Okay. Gold Sonic. Bet. Okay, hold on. And I'm looking it up, looking it up, looking it up. Okay, he's out of stock at Target, but at least but by by me. But uh, retail is $14. Okay, cool. Not bad. So now let's go. Oh, eBay. Oh, boy. Oh, 25 All right, that's not bad. Yeah, stock is Retail is 15 <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're on dick over there, bro. Bro. Yeah, they yeah they wilding out. No, for Gold Sonic specifically, but for for yeah, the uh, children's toy. That... Yeah, but f- for the Hydra Gujitsu, shit. <laughs> Hold on, this motherfucker, three, um, three the big Hano. joint, the big guy, Rihanna, big man. He's for look, look, look. Hold on, cause y'all on camera right now. Hold on, I'm just so y'all know I'm not bullshitting, bro. Look at this. Look at this. Hold on, wait. Let it. Look at this. <laughs> That's that's, that's that is four hundred smackaroos. That is four hundred dollars. Yeah, for this for this three headed dragon thing. Yeah, four hundred dollars. They want four hundred beans, bro. So you better grab Gold Sonic. Oh, you can, bro. Yeah. This Gujitsu, this Gujitsu aftermarket going crazy. <laughs> but yeah, 
But looks so good. Hey, I'm, 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 right, I'm, I'm finna cop one tonight. But again, Rainy, appreciate you coming through, man. A yeah, pleasure, you, man. absolute pleasure. I'm gonna I'm gonna start saying your name right. This is Rainy Ovalle. Go follow yeah. him. Follow him yeah. on all his socials, Twitter. I don't. Do you have a like a co one of the funniest accounts I follow? I I don't. Do I have a co? No, I don't. Okay, so Twitter. Um, but uh, for sure. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Pretty much everything is just my my government at Rainy Ovalle. Uh, R A I N E Y O V as in Victor A L L E. Um, yeah, it's you know the brand. The they can't take the brand away from you when the brand is your literal name. So yeah, you know. Fact. Yeah. Yeah, man. Like go go support man's good guy. Her, uh, like yes, next sir. time next time I am in or around New York, I'm pulling up to a to one of the Hearst Boys events, man. I gotta I gotta. Oh see hell yeah. Doing. I gotta see what y'all doing. Yeah, man. it'd be a pleasure. Also, <laughs> Dark Summer just dropped on SoundCloud. Okay. And I know we we dropping we dropping SoundCloud EPs like it's fucking 2016. Right. But yeah, back. go peep that. Give me on a feature, bro. <laughs> yeah. We got a. Ch- oh hell yes. <laughs> I'm I'm su- you think I'm playing? I'm super with that. Yeah yeah dog. But, Let's uh, do it. Yeah man, go 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 support. I'm going to go support. I'm going to go listen to it tomorrow because I'm going to shower and get my ass in the bed right now. But I'm going to listen to it as soon as I get in the car. There's another. Aren't you Aren't you doing another one like this winter too? Tundra? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so I'm doing, uh, I'm doing I, I just did, I just dropped Dark Summer. I'm doing uh, Urban Tundra this winter. Mm-hmm. But I might, I might, I might drop something in between uh, called Solemn Autumn. Mm. And, um. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what the vibe is, but that's just like a heat for every season. It's just a, it's just an idea. It's in the ether right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, dog. I'm gonna need that, man. But appreciate y'all for listening. We'll catch y'all next week. We're starting back. Yes, sir. Starting back. Fanfix on the Patreon at the end of this month. Yes, sir. So if you are not a Patreon member, five dollars gets you forty yeah. episodes. The versus $5, episodes Buster. that we do. Hella content on the Patreon. Like just. I'm telling, I'm telling Rainy, I'm telling y'all, when you listen to the fan fix, be somewhere safe or be, <laughs> or be inebriated because oh it, it is power in it this is. shit. <laughs> I, I told yeah. uh, Schmuck the other day that like it, it's the two pimp a butterfly of our podcasting career. It really is. Yo. <laughs> Oh my god! It really is. I sent the link to your Twitter, I, uh, to the YouTube apps. Oh, bro! Oh, let's fucking go! Yeah, I can't. I can't wait to get into this. Hey. This was a pleasure, guys. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course, hey, man. Of course, you man. On like, it's, it's awesome. Like, we will see y'all back on Twitter. Peace.